Hi there, I'm Kyudov, I'm part of Baltic Crew, and today I'm here to talk about uh, Baltic Artists Award 2019. Um, the Artists Award is a biennial award, so that's every two years, and uh, we have three established artists who each choose an artist who they feel should be represented in the contemporary art world. So for the first part of um, this uh, tour, we'll look at the work of Ingrid Pollard, and she was put forward by Labena Himmed. Ingrid Pollard was born in Guyana, and she moved to Britain when she was four. Her work is more or less photographic-based, but it brings in lots of different elements, kind of history, kind of archive, research as well. This exhibition is um, called 17 of 68, and it involves a lot of Ingrid's research in which she's travelled around Britain and um, she's taken photographs of um, pubs, bars, and it's kind of associated ephemera, kind of sculptures, buttons, plaques, things like that. If you look at the exhibition, you can see there's lots of photographs, but there's lots of other things as well. We have these three podiums that are different sizes, so the main, they're kind of sculptural. And then we see things that are usually quite small, made really large. <laughs> so again, they're kind of sculptural. So we have pages um, f from a novel, from a kind of pulp novel. So the next image that I've chosen to look at is this uh, photograph. So I, I think in many ways it's just quite a, a stunning photograph. You look at the street and it looks like a very typical British street. It looks like kind of Sunday afternoon, people are washing the cars and that's all kind of in light. It's kind of the, the known, the things that we see all the time on television, in films, uh, in, in papers. And you, if you look at the signs, you can see that's called Claremont. So that's that side. And then this is uh, Black Boy Wood. Just makes you think kind of uh, what's the history, what, what's happened there, you know, what's the ideas uh, surrounding Black Boy Wood. So the next image that I've chosen to look at is this uh, photograph. And it's a black and white photograph. And it's the English countryside. It's kind of images that we're used to seeing. But then I think when you look further, you see that there's all of these stones and they seem to um, kind of point to a building that was there, that is no longer there. And, and it makes you think again, it's kind of what's missing, what was there. I think a lot of these images, uh, they're not about what's shown, it's about what's not shown. It's kind of what's missed out, what happened there in the past, kind of what, what the history is. The next thing we look at is this series of images. Um, when you come into the gallery, and when you're in the gallery, they look like um, perfect examples of kind of minimalism. But then when you get closer to the images, it's as if they kind of, that they show something completely different. And if you look at the images, they're all these beautifully embossed images that show the insignia and uh, the signs, the sign writing, and different images associated again with pubs in, in the UK. So the closer you get, the more you look, the more in depth you look, the more things become apparent. So it ties in again with this kind of thing, um, kind of what's hidden from British history, what don't we see in, his, in, in British history. And even that idea to say that some things are kind of invisible, they're not really known unless you look hard, unless you kind of look further, unless you kind of look in depth and you see a different history, you see a different British history uh, that, that, that is there.